Hey everybody, it's your girl Veronica and I'm making my very first video on what's in your bag. I've seen a lot of videos on what's in your bag and I just wanted to do one for mine because uh, my bag is a little bit different from everyone else's. It's, um, I'm a little extra because of sicknesses and stuff that I deal with and uh, based on where I live because I live so far off the grid that the nearest town is eight miles. So when I go home, when I leave and go to the store or to a doctor's former to come into the city, I have to take literally three bags. So since my vehicle had broke down, pretty much everything that was in those three bags had to con get condensed into one because right now I'm usually bombing a ride. So what I'm gonna do is show you my bag, what's in my bag, and because of uh, the problems that's going on in my body, I find that what works for me when I'm in my own vehicle are fanny packs and backpacks. And uh, since I'm not in my vehicle right now, fanny pack ain't gonna ain't gonna cut it so what i have is um my cotton candy backpack that i got from walmart i think i got this last year look how huge it is i went to the doctor the other day for a cat scan and the, and the technician picked up my bag i don't like people picking up my bags but she picked up my bag she said "Ooh, that's heavy and i'm like you mind your own business anybody should pick that up so in this carries pretty much everything that i would need for at least two days i did have a change of clothes in here but I put the clothes in another bag because I knew I was going to be coming to my daughter's for a few days. So I took the clothes out and put it in the other bag. But this bag, it has the two pockets on the side. Well, first of all, I got my little cup that I found the other day uh, getting ready for my cruise. So I'll be doing another video on what's in my cruise bag and what's my uh, embarkation day bag and my cabin bag. So you have to have a bag for your cabin, a, a bag for embarkation day and all of the good stuff but that's another video but i found this it says keep your head up queen which is good because you know i, I have a fight with depression and uh anxiety anxiety when it hits you uh like it did on the machine the other day it it knocks me out of whack for two days i'm really just recovering from the panic attack from being on the machine tuesday today so i lost a whole two days but this is my cup that i just found said keep your head up queen now in this bag, it has this huge outside pocket and the two on the side. And I guess I'll start from the back. On the back, I do have a, um, because I'm a survivalist. I have a, a rag for my head or for whatever. You never know what you need a towel for or a rag. My keys are back here. And a little friend. So I have her. And a little Chanel hook, and also have a where I can hold it by the ring, by the whatever you call this thing. Let me make a disclaimer: I have fibromyalgia, so I may forget some words and what some things are, but I know the the need and the use of them. This here is a a can opener. Um, I guess this is like a little saw or something, but it's to pull the doors open so you don't have to touch the doors in these days and times that we're living in with the corona and the COVID and all that stuff. But isn't she cute? She ain't got names yet. This is a pen that I had um, found. It has a sand in it to help me calm down, be patient, take a minute, 30 seconds. Here's my keys. I found this. I forgot where. This is Home Sweet Home. This is one of those old, old, old keychains back from back in the day. But on here I have my keychains, my uh, woman veteran tag. I did leave my other veteran um, paraphernalia on another keychain. I'll do that in another video. Uh, these little deals here were, you know, um, for hand sanitizer. And they were at Walmart for a dollar, getting ready back to go back to school. But what I did is I put sanitizer in one and lotion in another one. What good is it? What good will it do to sanitize your hand if you can't put some cream on them? So I got lotion in one and hand sanitizer in the other. And that's all that's back here on the back. And typically, I don't have to carry this because um, it's usually on my walker. <laughs> But in this pocket, I have one taser and a few pens. I have a pom-pom with the little mermaid. She's she's flopping. And I have a little um, 
flamingo. And this here is to help with the anxiety as well, you know, to kind of break the, the uh, thought pattern to calm you down. Uh, diamond pen. This most of everything that's in this bag came out of Dollar Tree. A uh, unicorn pen with a pom pom on it as well. So that's like five pens. I'm a pen collector, so that's like five pens just in this pocket. And as we go around here, things that I may need like right now. Here's another hand sanitizer. Some little trash bags. So when I'm getting in and out of the car, I can pick uh, trash up and throw it away. A little notepad. And because where I live is so dark, if I get back at night, cannot see nothing. So I have a flashlight. I won't cut it on because it will blind you uh, to help me see from the car to the cabin. I live in a cabin. Oh, and I found this little guy the other day because uh, I'm in menopause. I've uh, been there since 2013, nonstop. Every day is a hot flash. Uh, and what he is is a little fan. He's USB. Works pretty good. See, I got him downtown Houston the other day. Have a uh, face mask right here. And another fan. I have fans everywhere. But like I said, I'm always hot. This one here is uh, one of the ones I use when I go to church. It says set free redeemed. This I got from Mardale a couple years ago. In here is some more chains. This has my nitroglycerin in it. This is uh it says Victoria's Secret, but I changed it to Veronica's Secret. Um, has my little queen crown on it. And in here are uh, some medications that I may need, like right now I don't have time to look for my big bag, like some drama mean because I'm always nauseated. Uh, my nitro patches the other day I was having some um, serious chest pains and could not even think as to where they were. Some Tylenol, Advil, and I don't take Tylenol and Advil, but I'm always around somebody that needs something, and they know I'm the walking pharmacist. Uh, BC powders and some hand wipes and even some cough drops are in here so just some go-to quick grab things like i need it like right now and i know it's going to be in this little pouch on the front of this bag now is it going to always stay there nope because my bags change every day I change my bags almost every day but because i'm not at home i'm stuck with this one Also in here, I found this, uh, it's called Sleep Roll-In Aromatherapy. Haven't tried it yet because I do have a problem going to sleep. So I'm going to try that one tonight. So I'm going to put that over there. Some handkerchiefs, tissue, find your fearless. Everybody needs tissue. A little book, and I'll show you, I'll give you more information on this book. It's like a little notepad in a minute. That was a gift. Here I have some more uh, charms on this zipper. I have the pink diamond. And then these says strong, stand strong, choose joy, and beautiful. Sometimes you got to remind yourself of some things. And down here in the bottom, I have a couple more pins and a battery. Why do y'all have a battery? Because I have two more fans that hangs on the back of this purse but they're on the other bag right now. So I have a battery in here for that fan. And also a, a stress pin, a stress ring. So when stress uh, or anxiety hits, I have this little ring that, you know, kind of takes away from me, my bag. Then a few more pins, pink of course, and three white ones. One says unwind, one says relax, one says chill. So that goes in there. On this pocket is my Corona kit. So when I somebody needs, let me see, it says Corona, Corona kit. This has extra mass sanitizer, um, a thermometer, some wipes, bye bye germs in here. So this is my Corona kit. This goes everywhere. I have two or three Corona kits. This is the small one. Now let's get into the big 
the big compartment. This here is my makeup bag. It's a Victoria's Secret. Got a foundation, a mirror, and a brush. Like I say, most of this stuff comes from the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. This is a LA Cool, some eye shadow, 99 cent. A little lip gloss, 99 cent. I should have got two of them because my grandbaby's going to take it when she see it. Um, a crystal unscented deodorant. Another lip gloss from the Dollar Tree. This is an oil called Rose Water and Aloe. I took it out of its original container and just put it in this rollerball container. A lotion. Another lotion for energy. This comes from, uh, I think, the place where they sell the candles. Blotter tissues for your face. Oily. This came as a set of three. Maybe four. I think I gave one away. Which is some um, perfume. Solid perfume. Then I also have my powder, loose powder. Body powder. Eye cream for um, the aging under the eyes. I have a little frog that's anxiety. I keep anxiety stuff everywhere. And another sanitizer. Another lotion, uh, Clary Sage, which is good for uh, women my age, dealing with depression and anxiety and hot flashes and all that stuff. So there's a lotion pretty much for everything. Also in here I have a tweezer, some eyebrows, eyeliner, purple and pink. Another lo um, spray perfume. This one is called Queen. I took it out of this original big jar and put it in there. Another lotion, Kitty Girl Pink, and it smells so good. This I just got from Amazon called Betty Pop. It's a lip gloss. And my four-year-old, I got to keep everything away from her because she claims everything that's pink. Oh, I was looking for this. This is my um, pressed powder. Dollar Tree. I DIY'd this. And an eyeliner. Dollar Tree. Everything I pretty much get because I really don't wear a lot of makeup. I get it from the Dollar Tree because I be experimenting with stuff. So that's that bag. This is the lip bag. It says lipstick is the answer. This bag was a gift for my birthday from last year from my cousins. And in here I have several different lipsticks. These two. There was a set of four. I gave one of away. Here's another one. This is a lip oil. This is another lip gloss from the Dollar Tree. Carmex Chap Ice and a Lip Medics. Then I also have some more um, This is my favorite. This is a magenta. It's my favorite color. And these are just some more lip balms, chapsticks, and a bliss stick. I know I got a cold sore the other day from somewhere. Also have some safety pins in there, bobby pins another lip gloss I've had that one for a long time a breath freshener 
and a couple more lip glosses. Can we say that that girl loves her lip glosses? And this one is cotton candy lip gloss. So yeah, this is the lip bag. Anything dealing with lips. And like I say, normally I wouldn't carry all this. It will be in my vehicle, but because my vehicle wanted to break down on me, again, everything has to come with me. So the vehicle's gone for good. In the process of getting another one as we speak. This is my snack bag. And purpose of this is, you know, with my blood sugar drop, I got a mint in here. Cotton candy mint. It's pink and white. And um, two little uh, starbursts pink starburst and a few of these hard candies and that's all in there this is the snack bag here's a deodorant another one this one's got to go out this is a secret deodorant I bought this off of Amazon no Etsy this came off of Etsy tissue um, skin brush you know to brush your skin fork and a knife and a spoon and in here because of where I live I have another taser because that one don't always work and a couple little friends for protection this is my protection so I keep it under lock and key well ain't no lock on it but I keep it zipped up because my baby she likes to go in my purse and anything pink she thinks it's hers so that's that this little deal here is another little travel case. It's pink glittery. And it came with this face and body mist. It smells like roses. A lip balm. A lotion. These came in it. And I just added a couple more uh, a 360 Periella's. This is an Escada perfume, uh, Michael Kors. This is a pink sugar. And this one is Coach body oils. This is a uh, Christian La Cruel, a face wipe, body wipes to clean, take a bath and uh, lip oil, another lip oil. So all that came in there, except the, um, these right here that I just added in there to protect them. And to always be smelling good when you go places, because you never know where you go. But you need to smell good. This is my wallet. It's a coach wallet. I found this little shoe the other day with a pom-pom. Ain't nothing in there but cards and a few dollars. A couple masks. In here is my straw and another spoon. Silicone, two silicone straws and a spoon. Just trying to save on the environment. A couple masks. Can't go wrong with black. This here is my nail kit. And it has the usual in there with some sparkle, clear pink nail polish. All the things I need for my fingernails. I found this at the Giant 99 cent store. It's pain relief gel with CBD. Two of them for $1.99. I searched that whole store for some more and could not find any more. In here, this came from uh, Target, just a little pouch, but in it came these two little cups, two little cups to go, made out of silicone, trying to save on the environment still. And on this side, I got some cards that I found, affirmation cards. This one says, today I'm grateful. Today my heart is filled with joy. I see the positive in everything today. Today I feel worthy. Today I would accept all the wonderful things in this life. So little words of encouragement. You know, we're living in a day and time where we need that. 
roll of toilet paper. How many has gone someplace and there was no toilet paper? A brush, and I think it has a mirror. Yeah, a brush and a mirror. This is my bathroom bag, because I'm dealing with some female issues. And I have a lot of stuff in here to accommodate me for that paint, like lidocaine, uh, certain wipes, the Vagaseal wipes, some Oh My God wipes, Oh My, Oh My, Oh My V, Oh My V wipes. Some Honey Pot Soothing Lavender for down there. Because uh, it's no secret, I'm dealing with some issues that's been going on for 30 years from trauma. Another notebook. And some wet wipes and some rose water wipes. I got this thing with baby wipes. I gotta have baby wipes. That's a coupon. And in this back pocket, just some cards and some uh, little mementos. Also back here, I have another lotion and some paper soap. And so finally, the last thing that goes in this bag and it will fit are my ink pens. I got a collection of ink pens and this pouch came with this bag, came with this backpack, this pouch right here. This by no stretch of the imagination is the, the uh, extent of my ink pens. This is just what I call my cute pens. And so what I did is I just put them in here. Just some of them, can you see them? Most of them are pink. Most of them have a special meaning, a highlighter. Uh, this one from when my cousin was fighting with breast cancer. A little angel, I don't even think she writes anymore, but I'm not getting rid of her. A little stress pen. And then these are my crown pins, queen crown, and a flamingo. So that is it on my What's in My Bag video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some in, uh, inspiration from it. And leave me a comment, like, and share. Share this video with somebody. If you're not a member, go ahead and click that button over there. Hit that bell over there, and you'll know when I upload again, okay? So, on this channel, I talk about some of everything because I wear many wigs. I just don't wear this one with these bags. I also uh, have ministry and uh, my children, my grandchildren. So, it's some of everything. You just got to click the bell so you know when I upload it. Oh, and my travel adventures. I'm always on the go. The name of my uh YouTube channel is Queen of the Road with Jesus because we are always going somewhere. So go ahead and click that like, hit that bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, share this video with somebody. God bless you.